The ancient Greeks were interested in what everything is made of. Thales said everything is made of water. Anaximander said everything is made of apparel. Anaximenes said that everything is made of air. While Pythagoras said everything is numbers. Heraclitus said everything is fire. And Democritus said everything is made of atoms. They all said everything is made up of a single thing. In short, they are monists. But Empedocles didn't think that everything is made up of a single element. He saw them as a composition of multiple elements. That is why he is called a pluralist. We know that everything is made up of 118 elements. But Empedocles thought there were four elements. There is a difference in numbers. But like this, Empedocles thought there were multiple elements that make up everything. That's why some people say Empedocles was the first philosopher to come up with the periodic table. Today's video is about Empedocles. There are many things in the world. Some are hot, some are cold, some are wet, and some are dry. But if everything is made of a single element, how can there be so many properties in the world? To explain this, Anaximenes said that everything is air. When the air condenses, it becomes cold, and when it rarefies, it becomes hot. But Empedocles thought one substance cannot have multiple properties at once. That is why he said everything is made of four different elements, not a single one. The four elements are water, fire, earth, and air. He called the four elements roots, and he thought that these elements aren't created and they don't disappear or change. He compared the four elements to gods. Water is Nestus, fire is Zeus, earth is Hera, and air is Hades. Depending on how much of the four elements are mixed together, a different substance is formed. For example, if water, fire, earth, and air are mixed in a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 to 1, they make flesh and blood. If they are mixed in a ratio of 1 to 4 to 2 to 1, they make bones. Then, what combines and separates these elements? Empedocles called them love and strife. Love unites elements, and strife separates them. Sounds a bit cheesy, but it's a metaphor. Like he compared the four elements to Nestus, Zeus, Hera, and Hades, Love and strife are the forces of attraction and repulsion in modern physics. He just used the terms love and strife. In that sense, the theory of Empedocles doesn't seem so far apart from the theories of modern-day physics. Empedocles thought that everything is formed from multiple elements and forces. That is why some say he's the philosopher who came up with the periodic table. Empedocles' theory of four elements had an influence on Plato. Plato was a big fan of geometry, so he thought that atoms are shaped like regular polyhedrons, which are three-dimensional shapes whose faces are regular polygons that look the same. For example, water atom is a icosahedron, which is smooth-looking. Fire atom is a tetrahedron, which is sharp-looking. Earth atom is a cube, which can be stacked on one another. And air atom is an octahedron, which is difficult for people to feel. The 20th century physicist Heisenberg said Plato set up the foundation of modern physics, since he understood the smallest units of matter as forms that can be expressed in mathematical language. Aristotle also accepted the four elements of Empedocles. Aristotle elaborated on the properties of the elements. He thought that these elements have properties of being cold, hot, dry, or wet. The earth is cold and dry, Water is cold and wet, fire is hot and dry, and air is hot and humid. And due to the influence of Aristotle, every educational institution after him began teaching the four elements. The theory of four elements also gave birth to alchemy. Alchemists thought they could create gold by combining fire, water, earth, and air in the correct proportion. Not only this, the way of looking at things in four categories can be found in medicine as well. Hippocrates classified human temperament according to the four humors, or bodily fluids, flowing through the body. There is the sanguine type that is warm and moist, the choleric type that is warm and dry, 
the melancholic type that is cold and dry, and the phlegmatic type that is cold and moist. The theory of four elements was only criticized by the English chemist Robert Boyle in the 17th century. So it was the established theory for almost 2,000 years. One of the reasons the theory of four elements was so influential is that there is a binary system in the human mind. The French anthropologist Lévi-Strauss said that the basic structures of all human cultures were formed by two opposing components. This is called the binary opposition. Humans prefer to think in dichotomies such as good and evil, fiction and nonfiction, Batman and Joker. Binary opposition, when doubled, is a quadruple opposition. That is why the theory of four elements and humorism seems so plausible to us. So they were able to last for almost 2,000 years. In a way, the idea of Empedocles is still relevant today. We now know that there are 118 elements and that these elements are joined by some fundamental force. Empedocles presented a prototype for the concepts of modern physics. Empedocles only presented four elements and expressed force as love and strife. But he was not so far off from the physics we know today in that he understood that the world is made of elements that are combined and separated by some kind of force. Empedocles was also a quack doctor who practiced pseudomedicine. There's a story about how he kept a woman who had stopped breathing alive for 30 days until he finally brought her back to life. But he wasn't a complete quack, since even Hippocrates was influenced by him. Empedocles was also a wonder worker. Once, when violent winds damaged the crops, he had bags made out of donkey skin and stretched the bags out to catch the wind. So he was called the windsayer. It is said that in the end, Empedocles killed himself by jumping into the crater of Mount Etna, an active volcano. He wanted to show people that he was a god by making sure they couldn't find his body. He hoped to live on in people's minds by mystifying his death. Gaston Bachelard called this the Empedocles complex, the combination of the instinct of life and the instinct of death. On a side note, don't these two look alike? Maybe that's why Bachelard was attracted to Empedocles. Let's wrap up. First, Empedocles thought that everything is made up of the four elements, water, fire, earth, and air. These elements are unified and separated by love and strife. Second, the theory of four elements impacted the philosophy of Plato and Aristotle and the medicine of Hippocrates. It also created alchemy. Third, Empedocles was also a wonder worker. He jumped into a volcano to mystify himself. <laughs>